Hello and welcome to Soapbox Sacramento. I'm your host tonight, James Israel, and uh, we're looking forward to um, a great show here. Uh, I am, as a guest, I have Jin Rogar, who is a singer-songwriter. And first I want to thank our uh, sponsors tonight, which are uh, Pieces Pizza on 21st near Capitol. And uh, they provide some pizza for the, uh, for the crew here. We're very thankful for that. Um, very nice place to eat. And uh, so I hope you'll check that out. And we also are sponsored by the Humor Times, which is a political humor monthly uh, distributed worldwide and available by subscription uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, so go online and check that out at humortimes.com. So tonight we have Jin Rogar, who is a singer-songwriter. She grew up in a musical family. Uh, both her mother and her father sang in church choirs. Uh, her Norwegian grandfather performed from the 30s through the 60s, playing banjo, guitar, upright bass in bands throughout the Midwest. She lives in Sacramento and uh, has, through the past 20 years, marched and sang at many uh, sport events and rallies. Um, and she's performed in cafes, restaurants, clubs, and theaters throughout the Sacramento area, the Bay Area, uh, Northern California, Arizona. Um, she has sung at events surrounding the issues of homelessness, the death penalty, uh, domestic violence, war, uh, police brutality, fair wages, and much more. So um, that's why we have her on this political show. Uh, a uh, little music interjection, but also staying political. So thanks, Jen, for uh, joining us tonight. Thanks tonight. for having me. And um, so tell, tell us a little bit about your, um, your songwriting. Uh, your, well, first, let's start with, with, with your roots, your musical roots. What, uh, what got you into music? Uh, well, I, I guess, you know, it's, they say it's a genetic thing. My grandfather yeah. and my mother sang in choirs. And uh, so... From being really small, I was always sort of singing in my, in my room, you know. And uh, I was pretty shy in high school, so I didn't sing in the choir. Then the karaoke thing came along, and I tried that. And then I graduated to trying to sing in a band. Do you think karaoke helped you, uh, like, develop the... Yeah, they're, they're you know. all stepping stones. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I got some lessons um, and, uh, from Santa Christian. She's a great teacher here in town. And the band thing didn't really work. I was going to sing in cover bands, and then uh -huh. I got frustrated. So I got my own guitar, and I thought, I'll just be my own band. And then I discovered I could write. I didn't know. So right. I started writing. So and then, and then I was, was always, uh, what's that? What age was that, do you, would you think, when you first started writing? Oh, 30, 35. Uh-huh, okay. In 30s. Right. And I've always been, I majored in history. And uh, so I've always been a rabble rouser kind of type. Uh -huh. So some of the songs came out; they were about love or life, and then but some of them started to be political or about human rights and different issues and the death penalty. And so it just uh, a major influence for me was uh, a singer-songwriter named uh, Diane Patterson. Uh -huh. I met her in yes. school in, in my teaching education. Based and in Davis, she was a big influence. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went the folk music, political, topical singer songwriter route. She Would you major. say you got into uh, <clears throat> politics and, and issues like that after you started singing, or were you Pretty into much. that before? Work, before, okay. Well, I've always yeah, I got involved with uh, rallies and I started to meet people and do rallies, but. Uh, I've always sort of been this person that's noticed injustice. Mm -hmm. I got that from my How about mother. even as a child? Even as a child. Uh -huh. Like I was in a zoo and I uh, saw water running out of a hose and uh -huh. in an elephant's cage. And I'm looking at the, the elephant and thinking, oh, that poor thing. And right. why is that water running? You know, they need to, somebody needs to shut. And I'm like <laughs> a little kid. Somebody needs to shut that water <laughs> off. So, so I think it was like just kind of innate. Yeah, they had the <laughs> urge to help the uh, help the. Uh, Help the elephants, help everybody. On, yes. <laughs> okay, well, that's great. Yeah. Um, well, tell us a little bit about the process of songwriting. How does that happen for you? I know speaking to a lot of different songwriters, and I've written a few myself, um, 
full disclosure, uh, <laughs> that, uh, you know, there, everyone has a different process and uh, maybe a different mix of things that they do. So I always like to talk about that. Um, it's, I've never really read how to write a song. So, uh, again, somehow I, I hear the bridge, I hear the chords. And sometimes I have a, a it's, it's hard to say, just the song, the chords come first, sometimes the lyrics come first. I, I have an experience and then I write about it. I might write about it right away, I might write about it months later. I was up at Mount Shasta recently and very quickly I wrote a song about my experience there. Um, some That's songs they say are, I've heard songwriters say that they don't, their song came through them. So right. I look back at songs mm -hmm. and I think, wow, oh, how did I write that? Mm -hmm. I didn't really write it. It just sort of came through right. me. Right. So kind of an open channel. Like an open channel. Right. Like you're channeling, right? right. And so um, So that song about Shasta is that's one of the ones you're gonna do tonight, right? Mm hmm Yes. Okay. Yeah, we we um talked that about That one I actually uh, researched. That was uh -huh. a weird one where I yeah. was wanting to write about something and I I, I well, wish I, this was a weird one. I was like, what should I write about? Uh, oh, so I, I, I Googled it, uh -huh. you know, and I, I did, I searched on the internet before I ever went to visit the mountain. Oh, nice. That's the first time I ever did that. Oh, great. And then you went there and that's where you got the real inspiration and the Right. I had to go there out. and see the mountain and experience it and camp there and then I could finish the song. And this song is on the uh, same CD, The River? The River. Correct. You've, you've done, what, three CDs? Two CDs. Two CDs. Uh, of my own. Right. Uh, I'm on a some other projects. Um, the CDs are A uh, Place Called <coughs> Humanity, which you did place in 2008, called humanity. Mm -hmm. and The River, which you did is more recent, 2013. Right. And we're going to hear, uh, we're going to actually see a video that you produced um, from that CD. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice video called The River, and we're going to see that later. But um, how about we, uh, you play Shasta for us? Sure. Okay. Okay. Great. <coughs> And uh, people may be wondering, may see this here. I'm going to accompany Jen on another song a little later. All right. California Mystic Mountain <clears throat> With the sun sets and the moon Snow peaks stand high above the clouds Sacred as the eagle looking down Oh, she calls to me Sorry. With her life-giving, healing energy She knows the way back to the sea Just I believe <clears throat> Oh, he came to me one night With a light shining so bright And he walked with me through the dark green forest And showed me the way to love my life Oh, she calls to me With her life-giving, healing energy She knows the way back to the sea Oh, Shasta, I believe I sat inside the mountain, listened carefully to the wisdom of the ones who live beneath Love one another and all living beings Together we will live in harmony Oh, she calls to me With her life-giving, healing energy She knows the way back to the Just I believe Black bear and 
wolves roam the forest. Once grizzlies and a lope and big horn sheep. When we bring back her dear old companions, she will burst forth with joy and ecstasy. Modoc Shasta went to Ojibway. I'll tread upon her divine and sacred space. Twelve thousand years ago, they lived in harmony. That is a lesson she gives today. Oh, she calls to me for the life-giving, healing energy. She knows the way back to the sea. Oh, Shasta, I believe. Shasta, I believe, oh, Shasta, I believe. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. That's, uh, that's a beautiful song. Thank you. And uh, I love the, the finger picking, too. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, your... CD on the screen right now for people to look at the, the oh, cover cool. of the river. That's the uh, American River confluence in Auburn because uh, that's where I grew up. Uh -huh. I grew up in Auburn. And that is the scene of the music video we'll see later, yes. right? Mm -hmm. That picture um, was uh, by Marissa Justice, who also produced the video. I think I think all the uh, the the singing about water made the water want to flow. That's why I spilled the water down there during the middle of the song. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I don't think they saw that. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Uh, they probably heard me, though. Okay. So anyway, um, well, great. Um, so so water is a crucial issue. Yes. Definitely. I mean, this is like probably the most crucial issue we have. Right. And we're feeling the and effects of that lately here in yes. California, for sure. Um, and Flint, you've, Michigan. You've worked <laughs> on the, like the um, <clears throat> what is it? The Nestle bottling issue. Nestle right. and uh, and against Crystal Geyser, who's they're sucking all the water out of Mount Shasta, and right. um, and yeah, Nestle uh, that's taking all the water from Sacramento. Exactly. And uh, I crashed a, a fracking rally against you fracking. A, a fracking. I cra rally. Yeah, I okay. crashed it. I wasn't on the bill. I wasn't uh -huh. on the agenda, but right. went up to the the hosts um, and I said, you know, I have a song. <laughs> and they said, oh, well, we're, you know, we're, we're booked. And then I said, well, I'll be right over there if you need me. And then they came over. Uh -huh. And there were thousands of people at this rally. It was put on by, like, some pretty big groups against was fracking. Was it here? In, in Sacramento. Sacramento. At the Capitol? At the Capitol. When was this? And I remember? sang Shasta. So. Oh, great. Do you remember uh, I think when it was, was like a year ago. About a year ago? And, uh, they, okay. yeah, I, I just was handy and ready. And now, was that the first time you played at a rally or...? No, no, okay. no, but that was the biggest, uh -huh. and I was nervous, so yeah. I, I got up there, my heart was pounding, uh -huh. and I just kind of kept my eyes low, and then, <laughs> I, and then I looked up, and I, I was able to, you know, finger right. picking, as you know, right. when you're nervous, uh, it doesn't go so well. Uh, yeah, it can <laughs> get a little fumbly there. Yeah. Um, but that's, that must have been a thrill to play for a big it was. crowd, a like-minded audience like that, and inspire, it was. you yeah. know, help inspire. And fracking's them. another serious issue. Oh, so. yes, definitely, yeah. Um, um, yeah, we've seen um, the groundwater getting poisoned by Yeah, they're fracking. injecting chemicals. Right. And then they're... Um, Huge aquifers, even, that they've poisoned yeah. through total mm -hmm. carelessness and, and no oversight, which is a huge issue. Um, so what else can we talk about? Um, well, we do you, took oh, the by the homeless stuff. One thing I wanted to ask is... Um, you know, I know you do like regular um, gigs, mm -hmm. you know, just at cafes, coffee houses, bars, right? Uh, where you play, because you have a lot of songs that are not political, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so how do you balance that? Like if, if you're at a, say, just a, a regular gig, there's, it's not supposed to be political, quote unquote. Do you like interject? Some of those songs, anyway. Do mm -hmm. you do you, do you I, call I just, attention I, to them, or do you just play them? Well, what I do is I don't banter. I don't set up the song. I just sing it. And I, mm -hmm. I, I had one um, show ask me not to sing them, and I, I didn't go. 
but mm -hmm. usually they let me, they don't mind. In fact, recently, there was a time in Sacramento when I was kind of, I uh, hate to use the word blacklisted, but I wasn't really playing anywhere because I was political. Mm -hmm. And then the Fox and Goose, I played there one night, and they, um, they actually put on their website political songwriter. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> was that wow. a first? That a yeah, first it was the first time they ever, that? yeah, uh -huh. that was a, a venue yeah. uh -huh. that, okay. you know, they, they didn't try to hide the ball. Right, right, right. I was like, wow, that's impressive. But yeah, yeah. I've sang at Harlow's, I've sang it. I, I went, uh, for a while I was singing a, a lot just to be heard and um, actually be able to hang out with my drummer more often. <laughs> 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 and uh, practice, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, I play a lot of sports bars. So I, I, mm. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm. I need to play where people are listening yeah. and not watching right. the game or, or mm. on their on their Facebook. So you don't want to just be background music. I don't want to be a background. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm limiting, right. you know, the kind of picking and choosing more. But I, I'm That's a good thing. I'm picking up on these feisty females concerts. Uh -huh. We started one last month at Luna's and. Um, mm. This singer-songwriter out of Sebastopol, Kim Tripp Smith, uh -huh. who's a, a oh, yeah, Cow's Radio that. host, mm -hmm. she started this Feisty Females um, nice. concert venue for women. Uh -huh. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of those. Oh, great. Well, mm -hmm. uh, another thing you do at Luna, Luna's is you have a, a series that you've been putting on, uh, a Homeless Benefits. Yeah, I've been and doing the Homeless Benefits for about three years now. You benefit uh, Safe Ground, Sacramento? Safe as Ground, well as um, Shock. Sac Sacramento Homeless Organizing Committee. We mm -hmm. did first. We did a lot of benefits for Safe Ground, and then Shock, that and puts out the homeward paper, and then Wind, which helps the, um, um, you know, the youth. And then um, there's the Community Dinner Project that feeds the homeless every Tuesday. And the, uh, these benefits, the, the series of benefits, has always been at Lunas. They're always at Lunas. On capital. They generate. Four or five, six hundred dollars each time, and then and we you have give several all, the performers all donate their time. You've been on it, right? You have You're on several the next performers, one, mm -hmm. uh, like maybe what five to six per night. Yeah, sometimes and then, more. <laughs> and is it is a donation, or is there a certain amount people have to pay to get in? They, it's a, we ask for seven dollars, and then people often throw in a twenty. Right. Or we've had art donated <coughs> by a lot of different mm -hmm. artists. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of help yeah. on that, and and it's just a create awareness. I've had people say, well, you know, put it in a bigger venue, but uh, I, I, I like the ambiance at, at uh, Luna's. I mm -hmm. appreciate Art Luna because yeah, he's been real. in the community forever yeah. and he gives everybody a chance and mm -hmm. he lets everybody speak. You know, Art's, just, Art's a great guy. And, uh, so Luna's I keep it Cafe, there. Hmm? Highly recommend Luna's. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, little series that you put on and uh, I know all the organizations are real um, Happy to have you do that, and mm -hmm. not only raising money but uh, raising awareness. Yeah, that, because the homeless issue. issue is probably. I, I learned a, a little while ago that you can't spread yourself too thin. You know, yeah. I'm am doing this issue and that issue, and it's like you have to focus if you want to make a difference. So uh, I'm focusing mostly on the homeless issue, which is 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 pretty bad in Sacramento. Okay. I mean, the, the Sacramento City Council and the it just right. it, it seems like they're doing nothing it's just uh in fact they're they've criminalized hom homelessness they've yeah. um they they can't rest there's a, a right to rest movement uh there's an ordinance against them even resting anywhere mm -hmm. and anywhere. this has inspired you to actually put your hat in the ring i hear yes it's i i'm going to uh i'm pretty sure i'm going to run for uh the fourth district city yeah. council uh, that's exciting i'm going to I, in fact, I am. I just <laughs> I've already announced is it, is it. Is this the first public announcement of it? Or yes, no, you, I'm you going have? to okay. run against right. Steve Hansen because... Um, you heard it here, folks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Now, we're, uh, time is short, so uh, I wanted to see if uh, we could play that other song. Yeah. Now, this was inspired by the Palestinian issue. Yes. Um, so I, I, I'm a that. long time watcher of, I hope it's okay, Democracy Now! Um, and... Yeah, the, the situation in uh, um, Gaza and uh, the occupied territories in Israel, and it's very complicated, but it breaks my heart. Right. So I wrote this song thinking I was creating, saying something new, and then mm -hmm. I Googled it and I realized I'm not mm -hmm. comparing the Warsaw ghetto to the ghetto in Gaza. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not the first. And I used the poem from Pastor Niemöller is in this song, so I borrowed oh, nice. that. Nice. Uh, if and it's it talks about how nobody spa spoke for 
um, the communists and the trade unionists. And right. so when it came down to that person, nobody spoke for him. Right. And he's actually a uh, concentration go. camp survivor. So. All Jane's right. going to let me accompany her on this. Yeah, this would be fun. I sing this at. Um, and this is called Torah. I sing this in all venues. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's a really. This is called Torah or Hillel's Torah, rule. Nice it's actually this is called Torah Hillel's rule, and it it, it is the Torah. It, it I I, Wikipedia Wikipedia uh -huh. this thing. It's, <laughs> it, what is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbor. Right. It's in the Torah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They came for me. There was no one left. Speak for me. What is hateful to you? Do not do to your neighbor. That is the whole of the Torah. What is hateful to you? Do not do to your neighbor. That is the whole of the Then they came for me, and there was no one left. Speak for me, what is it? fun. Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me play with you. Yeah, you know, so. my dad was a uh, my dad was a kid in the war. 
My dad was a French kid in World War II. And we're living where? In France. In France. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so uh, I really I have a connection for people because I've heard his stories growing mm -hmm. up. He was a refugee and all of that. Mm -hmm. And so I, I feel for those people that are, that are locked up and not right. free. Yeah. So. Well, Jen, it was great having you here today. Uh, we're we're going to go out with your uh, video, so there's like a couple minutes left. So Thank we'll you for having me. Give them time to start that. But, uh, yeah, thanks for coming. The time just flew by. a great by. show. Thank you <laughs> as, uh, for being my first guest. You're uh, the perfect host. Here. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you, the audience, for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more great programming on Access TV. Uh, do I need to Shed my dirty clothes there Gonna walk down to the river Shed my dirty clothes there Stand by the river Let my tricks be bare Look into the river, see myself look back there. Look into the river, yeah, see myself look back there. Know my reflection, my conscience be my mirror. Step into the river Wash my wasted youth there Gonna step into the river Wash my wasted youth there Toss out my tokens Clean this liar's lair Stay down by the river